What is up guys and welcome to today's video. We're currently on the other side of Tokyo and we're gonna stop in and visit someone that we haven't seen in a very long time. If you have any guesses, let me know down in the comment section, but let's go. Ah, yes, yes. One pink car. Yo, he got the left-hand drive S13 out. I'm jealous. A second pink car. A white Yaris. Yo, that means I can get left-hand drive practice, actually. Oh, I need to talk to him about doing some Okajukus with that. Hosashiburi. <laughs> All right, guys, we are at Yashio Factory. We are hanging out with Okachan, and uh, he's... um. Doing SR things right now is what I'm gonna say because if you see the amount of engines and everything on the ground here, um, SR20 is life, best engine in the world. No one ever has any problems with SRs losing oil pressure and things. Um, SR is best engine. Yes. I sound like a rotary person, um, but let's see what he's up to. Okamoto-san, tadaima. Genki? Oh, さしぶり。秋嫁おめでとうございます。あ、と誕生日も。16歳できましたですよね。コロナ大丈夫。コロナ大丈夫です。大丈夫。大丈夫。かっこいいよ、終わったの。終わった。終わった。今何作って?You
you can see it actually just moves around a bunch in the cylinder um, I don't know if the rod is still connected or not but that thing's pretty yeah anyways so yeah this is all getting rebuilt this is actually my old engine block believe it or not um, so he's already blown that up in the time that I still haven't really been able to drift my S15 he's blown two SRs so He's literally absolutely gangster and doesn't care about anything, but he's gonna have both of these motors put together and ready to shred in no time. And he's gonna do some upgrades so that he doesn't have to deal with these problems ever again. Um, but yeah, I mean, Okachan doing SR God things, I guess, right? All right, guys, I had my fun hanging out with Okachan. Always a good time. And just looking at these cars out the front, always makes me smile. I spoke to him as well. He's gonna let me at the next Okajuku get some left-hand drive practice. Um, this is pretty much, it, it's a, the same as my S13 in the States. This came from the USA, this S13. It's left-hand drive and it's all like Yashio spec. Super, super cool. Um, so it'd be epic uh, to get some seat time drifting and practicing with that. So I'm really looking forward to just getting more familiar with the left-hand drive platform. Um, I really think it's important for what I wanna do in the future with driving and stuff, but yeah, good day. Feels weird hanging around a whole bunch of SRs and Sylvias and stuff, and then uh, getting in my K-Van to head home. I feel like I should have my S15 here or something. But anyways, we're gonna head home. It is now the next day and uh, we're cruising to the shop. We got May with us and uh, we're gonna do some work on the S15. May's going to be uh, doing some work on the Z. Yes. But uh, in the meantime, I just wanna, I wanna play you a song on my new trumpet. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, this still has the Lerno badges on it too. <laughs> Everyone's probably been wondering why this Lerno has been bombing it. Oh, did you take them off? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> well, guys, we made it to the shop. I'm gonna get started and get some more things done on the S15. May's brushing her teeth. I'm not entirely sure why, <laughs> but <laughs> she's gonna do some work on the Z today. She's gonna wash it outside. Um, I think we're gonna play around with some wheels on the Z today. We're gonna try and test out some cone eggs on it and see what they, that looks like. Just cause I'm not digging the fluoro wheels, to be honest, and I don't think May is either. Are you digging it? You like the fluoro wheels? Oh, okay, well, yeah, maybe maybe we're keeping the fluoro wheels, I don't know. I wanna get some stuff finished up on the S15, just some more wiring and tedious stuff, so gonna get my thermals all finished up. Um, and then I need to put my breaker in, because last time I just wanted to get the car running, I didn't bother wiring in the breaker, um, but that's obviously first on my list here, I'm not forgetting that. We've got a nice 200 amp one, it's down there in my box from Wiring Specialties. Um, and then just uh, get some fuel pump wiring sorted out as well and just get everything finalized. I decided not to go with the relay uh, like fuse combo. I'm, I am gonna stick to inline. Um, just as I did a bit of research and stuff like that and some of you guys in the comment section were talking about how much they fail. So I'm gonna stick to running a inline fuse like this and just deal with butt connectors, but I'll hide it and you know, we'll put heat shrink on it and we'll put it all in this nice sheathing so it can't be seen and I think it'll look really, really nice. So I'm gonna get onto wiring, which is something that I love doing. Like I've always been big into wiring and electronics ever since I was little. My uncle, mate, did I tell you this? When I was 10 years old, he already had like given me like old like 386 computers, a soldering station and circuit boards. And like, I literally remember on my mum's washing machine, I sat up there with a soldering iron and an old VCR circuit board, removing resistors from it so that I could use those resistors on a little electronic kit I had. So I've always been big into like micro soldering and all that kind of stuff. We have a soldering station at home and I repair a bunch of stuff, but anyways, I love electronics. Actually, one of the biggest things that May found really attractive about me was how I used to solder. Fun fact, right after we got engaged, that's literally, we drove to your... To a customer's place, and I had to do a bunch of soldering and repair some stuff. Yeah. And I just watched him do it for three or four hours. Yeah, she'd just stand there, just like watching my hands. Anyways, I'm not sure why we went on that tangent, but we're at the shop and we got work to get done, so you'll probably see me and May both working on cars. I'm so happy. Why are you happy? Because this car, you can reach the top. Oh, you can? No, you can see it, and you can wash it. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Honestly, I've never seen someone so happy to wash a car in winter.
<laughs> Oi, don't you dare. <laughs> don't you dare. This camera is not waterproof. Okay. You like my jacket? I like your jacket. Thank you. It's a good jacket. We did a shout out at the start of this video about Yashio merch. I really want that. This is the first time this car's literally been washed. It has not been washed the entire time I've bought it. Owned it. Yeah, the previous owner was pretty bad with it. Oh, me? Yeah. <laughs> Looks really nice when it's wet. I wonder if the paint will ever come up that nice. Quick little check up on the car. This is looking pretty nice. Even hitting it with the speed bleed afterwards, hey? Look, you'll be proud of me. What'd you do? Dude, I can't get over that. Clean oven here. Oh, you did the inside the seals too? Yeah. Look at you. Damn. It's not even her car and she's looking after it. I like this. So, a lot of people have been asking me, um, are you gonna be getting your RX-8 that you wanted? that you were talking about and talking so much smack about when I said that, you know, once you get your license and you start driving cars, you're probably gonna change your mind what you're gonna want. But yeah, everyone wants to know, are you getting that RX-8? Yeah. I heard that the rotaries have a different torque feel, like there's no torque. Yeah. So I wonder how would that will be because this one is too torquey. <laughs> So you, you actually do want an RX-8 for your, your like your first official yeah, car? like a torquey one and non-torquey. Wait, so you want two cars. You want a torquey car and a non-torquey car. Yeah. <laughs> and you have a, you now have a Mazda in your, you know, in your line of cars, so. I mean, this is gonna be your car. I don't want anything to do with an RX-8. <laughs> then I'll go get one. Dude, I swear, the moment I pull out the camera, she starts saying she's getting an RX-8 again. I'm not even joking. She was saying how much she didn't want one and now she does. Oh, I don't get it. <sighs> but anyways, this thing came out pretty good, all things considered. It looks like a million bucks now, to be honest. I mean, you can definitely tell there's some places on the car where it's like, what on earth, what's going on? Yeah. Uh, like, there's just a lot of scratches and stuff. There's obviously the the uh, clear coat here, so it was sitting out in the sun for a very long time. But there are just like weird places, like all here as well is like faded. I don't know what this thing is, but you can see... I think this is when they were opening like the trunk and stuff. Like if you're holding your keys and stuff, like because there's just weird chips and lines oh, everywhere. This like watermark stuff. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It'll come, It'll come off. Weird. But yeah, there's a fair few um, like just weird like scratches that have then been hit up. Like you can kind of see it here with touch up paint like drizzled over the top of it. All over the whole car. Look at that. You can kind of see that there. And then all here. Look at all this. All these scratch lines here that have been repaired by like just people putting touch up paint over it. Damn it. Yeah, it's a bit weird the trunk on this. Oh, you found more dirt to clean? Just be careful. This thing needs new gas struts. That'll be a mod I'll make you do. Gas struts on the trunk. What's gas struts? These. These things, they're failing. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god, look. You're so excited about all the dirt that you found in here. Yeah. Damn. I think you're the only girl in the world that cares about this kind of stuff. Oh, I really care. I don't know. Listen, there's another complaint. Why do you make this? Then it makes it... Oh, how it's like receded, rescinded yeah. in, receded in. I use the air compressor to just like pull all the dirt out and then the, <laughs> the car was covered in dirt again. So I have to use it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to hold this up because I don't want you losing fingers. I am so blessed. I have a girl that like cares about cleaning inside the door seals and stuff. Yeah, because once you go like this, you're like, oh, there's more dirt. <laughs> May you miss some, a big Where? amount right there. Where? Right there. Oh, wait. Yeah. Water. Yeah, she's even using a microfiber. Yeah, the microfiber is like That microfiber is going in the trash <laughs> after this though. That's dirty as already. Damn, this thing came up all right, considering like this Dude, I can't wait to rear clear coat the top of the wing. Look how good the carbon fiber is under it. Once the car gets like goes to paint and gets cleaned up and this wing gets redone and Hold it. in clear coat up the top, it's gonna look awesome. You're getting all the way in there too, aren't you? Yeah. Every crack and crevice. 
Jeez, you're gonna look after your own car really well then. I really don't know if we're gonna get, get you an RX-8 because you can't seem to make up your mind. You tell me one thing, you tell them one, another thing. Aren't you one like that? That's why you guys That's true. Do this. That's true. That's very true. <laughs> you haven't even started working on Evo? I have. We started working on the Evo. It's become a shelf. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got 32 parts stacked up on it. <laughs> Workshop hangs are the best. Just apple pies. Coffee's warming up right now on the heater. Good times. I need to buy a real shop heater, like a 5,000 watt monster to just like put up in the corner. Give it like three phase power and warm up this whole shop in five seconds. Hello, electricity bill. <laughs> so time warping ahead, I've been working on a loom and everything for the relay setup for the fuel pump. May's been, um, she actually went to the shopping mall and got this new jacket and this is her new outfit for the workshop. She's killing it, loving it. Um, but yeah, we're also here with a really famous streamer in Japan, the biggest IRL streamer in all of Japan. I'll put his uh, info in the description. You guys should give him some love. Hi guys. Yeah, this is um, Gaijira-san. Hey. His name's Riley, but cool dude. Anyways, so he's here hanging out, streaming, and um, I need to test now my fuel pump and wiring and relay and all that kind of stuff is good to go. So I'm actually pretty proud of this. Um, the loom's like all sheathed, really nice. The trigger wires, the, um, the level indicator wires, everything goes into the top there. Comes into here, I've got the relay. Um, with a nice nut set and everything on the battery stay so that like sits all there This is all gonna get tidied up because once we add a um, a Circuit breaker for the main positively because right now I don't have that it seems like I left that at home So I'll have to go find that if not order another one So I'll just keep disconnecting this whenever we leave the shop, um, but yeah ground comes here Positive goes up there relay everything there. So this when I go turn the T the key we should hear fuel pump May, Can I give you the camera? It should be very loud because it's a DW400. It's like 500 liters per hour or something. Alright, when the ignition turns on. Ready? <laughs> Hang on, it didn't, turn, it didn't do anything. I didn't hear. Relay's it's clicking on. up front. Nothing Did I in connect the, the wrong wire? I didn't watch you. <sighs> trying to think. Think, think. What? Is, a fuse is there, yeah, is there a fuse in the box? Hmm. We'll be right back once I figure out what I've done wrong. Question mark. Oh. So, what's happening? So, the wire I used for the trigger is correct. I tested that with this test jumper wire. Mm. Something's happening between where it's connected in under here or in the loom here. I'm hoping it's not in the loom and it's just something in here. Mm. Um, and we're okay, but... Yeah, it kind of sucks. Anyways, I'm gonna pull it all out, test it, figure it out, but yeah. Cause, always something. Is it more complicated than women? No. There's always a reason why, hang on, just let me, I wanna, I wanna be able to have a sex life after I answer this question. Can you give me like immunity? <laughs> I don't trust you, I'm not gonna answer that. <laughs> So I found the problem um, as I was undoing all the sheathing here, the wire is just completely fallen out. So I got a new crimping tool and I guess I'm not used to it, um, but this is also why I like soldering things. Oh. So yeah, this just fell straight out of there. So I'm really glad that this happened now and it didn't happen like at a drift event or anything like that. Yeah, yeah that, that would've been scary. Would've sucked. Losing all fuel pressure, engine leaning out, like that's, that's how you blow a motor. So I'm going to fix this and then, um, yeah. We'll be good, we'll be chooching. Redid the trigger wire and crimped it with my new crimping tool with some different crimps and we are good. The previous crimp was just like those really cheap ones with the little like skinny kind of crimping things, the cheap ones, but yeah, this thing's like, you'll lose a finger if you put it in there, so. Anyways, no, don't you dare. Um, we should be good now. I haven't actually tested this yet, so. Hopefully. I hope I don't have to pull this apart again, but I'm pretty confident it was just a simple crimp issue, so here we go. That's what I want to hear. You know what this means? It should start right now.
happy? It's insane. Yeah, I'm really happy. But like, we just did a fuel pump relay and it took me like three hours to sort out. <laughs> Mainly because I wanted to do it all pretty in the sheeting and then I had to do it all over again because of that yeah. one crimp that fell apart. Why but, are you? While you were doing that, I was even able to go shopping, yeah. buy new clothes. Yeah. And it's all because of this. These tools, they're great for stripping and like those cheap things for stuff that isn't important. But when we went to the home center before to get some like nicer crimps, I, I, I splurged and spent like $70 on a proper crimping tool. So now we're not going to have any, issue, any issues with that ever again, hopefully. But yeah, car runs. I really want to get the wiring done for the fans, but I think we're going to end up doing that um, probably tomorrow just because it is getting late and happy wife, happy wife. So I'll probably do that later. It feels like I haven't accomplished much, but we spent a bunch of time driving with May today and things like that. And we'll go jump in the car and make her drive home at night because she needs practice and seat time. And I don't care what you say <laughs> and how anxiety, like how much anxiety you have, I'm making you drive. Oh, you'll be fine. Okay. I learned something today. What'd you learn? Oh, this is actually going to be funny. Hang on. Yep. I know what she's going to say. What'd you learn? I learned something today. What'd you learn? If I need to drive a sports car, mm. I need to drive it like a sports car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so a good I revelation. Can't be, I can't be afraid of like hill starts and stuff. I just need to go do, do, do. Then I can just take off. How's that go again? Do, do, do. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I love, I love her now. <laughs> the, the like I'm driving the car and I'm just like, just sending it in the Z, making everyone hear the trumpet. And she's like, ah, I get it now. It's like, when you drive a sports car, you got to drive it like a sports car. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I had a revelation. That's good. I really did. All right. <laughs> Anyways, um, things. Let's go home. <laughs> It works. <laughs> Woo. All right, so we are on the highway, cruising home, and look who's driving. You loving it? Not yet, uh, but yeah. She's doing okay, she's doing really well. I think this is the first time she's been out driving at night, is it? Your first nighttime driving? Night, no, no, nighttime driving, I've done it, but You're it's my it? first time on my sixth year. Oh, in, on a six-speed transmission. Yeah, she was so cute, trying to like, I've never driven, never gone to fifth or sixth before. It was cool. You ready to do a pull? Okay. <laughs> you ready for this? There's cars around me. Okay, yeah. All right, just a little little baby one so you can feel the, the VQ power, all right? Yep. Go, put it down. <laughs> 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 she went up to 5,000 RPM. All right, that's enough for now. Go back to fourth and get up to you. Your... <laughs> Why does it smell like... Okay, no. That's because we're on outside air. That was the motorbike okay. in front of I'm us. I'm like, did I break the car? No, you're good. Okay. All right. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is going to be fun for the next few months. All right, guys, we just got back home. And May is crazy excited. Why are you excited? I did a hill start without a handbrake. Oh. She's so hyped. She's starting to really like understand like the feeling of the clutch, like looking for that engagement point and stuff like that. And it's just, it's actually kind of like super, I don't know, it feels good to see You're her getting excited. I'm not making fun of you, no. Like it's a satisfying feeling. I don't know. I feel good seeing you enjoying it and figuring stuff out. It's cute, I guess. Yeah. It's cool. It's yeah. good. Uh, the car was talking to me. The car was talking to you? Yeah. You understand what that means now? Yeah. <laughs> it's like so you blind. when you, you understood people talking in Japanese. It's like I understood what the Z was talking to And what was it telling you? What was Rev. the Z telling you? Rev? Rev. <laughs> Rev me. <laughs> Move me. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. On that note, she's super hyped. Smash that like button, rise a comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Jamata.